When darkness seems to end Where are you now When the world is crumbling Oh I I I hear you say I hear you say Look up child I really think that Lauren Daigle wrote this song just for Job. <laughs> I think I said this last podcast, maybe yeah. yesterday or two days ago, but uh, he needs to hear this song. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he needs to hear this song. Look up, Job. It's going to be okay. He does. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Saturday here. We're uh, yeah. with Chris Willingham. Yeah. Chris. Good to be here. Yes. Good afternoon. Good to be on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. It's nice. We got Brian mm-hmm. Knight here. Yeah. Brian, good afternoon. What's happening? And this is God round. Is good. This is round two for the day. Oh yeah, you guys read yeah. this morning. Yeah. Five forty-five. Yeah. Nice. Early. Ooh, you were up early. Early. I'm glad I wasn't here for that one. Yeah. <laughs> On a Saturday. It was early. It was early, <laughs> but great. We had a ice cold energy drink and uh, had a, had a great time. Dra- nice. A dragon was in last podcast. Yeah. Oh. So I don't know if it was okay. a dragon. Look, I take it literally. In chapter seven, yeah, meets your dinosaur. Oh, it's a dinosaur. I, yeah, I think yeah, it was, it was a Leviathan. Yeah. yeah, 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 Leviathan. Yeah, dinosaur. It said sea serpent mm-hmm. and or dragon. Yeah, that's right. what he said. And, he said and, both. In Hebrew, says dragon. I'm a little disappointed mm-hmm. though in the King James. Mm-hmm. Uh, it yeah, doesn't, doesn't say, it doesn't say dragon. Right. Yeah, dragon would have been mystical. It says some else word. But it wasn't. Dragons are are dinosaurs. Yeah. They were dinosaurs right. for thousands of years until right. the science community said. Nah, yeah. we can't have dinosaur dragons. We need to make up a name. So, right. 1800s, the name dinosaur showed up. Oh, yeah. Well, like, there we go. Yeah, probably King James uses it. Probably uses Leviathan, doesn't it? 1841, Sir Richard Owen came up with the name dinosaur. Ah, yeah. Someone go to King James and pull that up. I Where was it? Seven twelve. Seven. 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 Yeah, I got it right here. Right. A whale. The we'll sea serpent. I am. Am I a sea or a whale that thou settest watch over me? Yeah, wrong. Jeez. That's not what the. Uh, yeah. That's not what the Hebrew says. Yeah, I was gonna say Hebrew would be interesting to see. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was I was because I ran downstairs Dinos- to show Lincoln. Yeah. I go, Lincoln, look, there's a dragon in the Bible. So I open up King James, <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, because you know, in New Living it says dragon, Hebrew says dragon, and ESV says sea monster. Yeah, sea monster, sea serpent. Yep. Or dragon. Well, in the New Living, it says sea monster right. and dragon. Okay. So, again, the New Living mm-hmm. gets... Let me look. Uh, there's the a lot of pluses on the New Living, by the way. There, yeah, it's great. There is. Yeah. But it's, it's a paraphrase. It's not yeah, perfect, but it's good. Because, like, God, God's breathed word. King James mm-hmm. says inspired. Mm-hmm. New Living says God's breathed. Right. Hebrew is God's breathed. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Yeah. So, in, a, in NET, it just says creature of the deep. It doesn't specify. Boo. In LT? Yeah. Uh, no, NET, the Net Bible. New English translation. So, yeah, wow. interesting. Hebrew says dragon. So it's <laughs> dragon. <laughs> I'm trying to look it up. Look at that. Yeah, pull look the Hebrew on it. Yep. Yeah, so we, we had a dragon this morning. Sweet. At 5.30 in the morning, it flew right into my office. <laughs> Sir, breathing fire. Nice. <gasps> Dracarys. Dracarys. Dragons. <laughs> we went from a great, great Gatsby party. Oh, yeah. With Esther. That's right. To an epic battle that we were, that we had victory upon, right? To a horrible tragedy. Now we mm-hmm. have dragons. Now we got to cheer Job up. It's one chapter after another. Just it's just amazing. Can't stop yeah. reading. What a story! It's, I mean, this is literally like the life and times of Job, and we're hearing everything in his heart. You know, God, I hate the day that I was born. Oh yeah. Oh, 
all this other stuff. And but yet you are the you are the king. Mm-hmm. I trust in you. I trust in you. All right, everybody, open their Bibles up to chapter 8, Job, New Living Translation. Here, uh, Chris Willingham, you are our guest. Do you want to pray it in? Yeah. So, Lord, we thank you for your word um, that is uh, constantly challenging us um, and, and giving us insight into into your character, Lord. We thank you for a wonderful day to be together, even twice uh, that they were able to do this today, that they really were reading your word and understanding it. And, and really, it's inspiring us to be in awe of you. And that's that's mm. that's one of the purposes of your word is is not just to uh, to grow us intellectually and to grow us spiritually, but to inspire us to be in awe of of the living God. Uh, that's that's one of the things we're put here for. So as we continue to enjoy you and to enjoy your word, Lord, would you bless it and uh, open our eyes and let us see the truth as you have given us the truth in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, that's beautiful. All glory Amen. to God. Yeah, absolutely. As King David once said after a victory of battle, God <laughs> did it. And everyone yes, you did. I like that line. That God like, did it. That should be a tat. Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, chapter 8, New Living Translation, Job. Uh, oh, 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 countdown. I think we said it earlier, 60, 638 days. Yes. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, by the way, so I listen to ASMR videos when I work. In the okay. office here. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and uh, a lot of it is, it's not like noises like, you know. What somebody, I was just doing. Yeah, yeah it's not right. like somebody like <laughs> right. doing their nails or something, right, you know. Right. But it's like, um, sometimes it's someone that takes a camera and they'll go on a walk. Yeah. Like you at a, hear on a the park. Crunching under their feet. And right. Oh, nice. And like a rain yeah. outside. Or like somebody's kind of like stuff. walking around the zoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or I've even, I'm a, I'm a mall rat, so yeah. I do AM, a, ASMR mall walk. Oh, cool. So someone will like walk around the mall and I'll yeah. just listen while I work. I love that. So what I did was I did ASMR Israel. Interesting. And some guy walks around all of Israel with a camera. Huh. And you could just put it on and listen <laughs> to him walk around Israel. Wow. And, uh, of course, I watched some of the video because it's live video, sure. too, and you're going through all these, like, back streets. Yeah. It was fascinating. That's cool. And then I just thought to myself, we're going to be there soon. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. <laughs> I still think we need a pre-trip. But <laughs> here you go. Brian's pulling it up. Brian's like the Joe Rogan here. Oh, yeah. Just, there you go. Is that Israel? What's the Mediterranean area? Yeah. I didn't see. Uh, my computer's slow right now. I didn't yeah. see everything. Like ASR in Jerusalem. <laughs> Yeah, um, near Israel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mine was like, like in the city. Yeah. I don't know where Brian is right here. Wow. Okay, I type in ASMR Israel. There you go. What does ASMR stand for? I don't know. You know? I don't know. Oh, geez. It's like, yeah. Keep going nah. down. Keep, no, keep on scrolling down. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, show the one I, I'll show you the one I found. Snacks in this Israel. Is, this is weird. <laughs> uh, maybe type in like walk after Israel, uh-huh. Brian. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Oh, there we go. There's a little now bit. keep going down. It's a little yep. bit better. There's Tel Aviv. There you Tel go. go. Walk, walking in the rain. Oh, Jerusalem. So you just. Oh, I think this is the one I did right here. King George Street. Street. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this is not the one, but this is good, though. Something like this. It's something like that, yeah. Wow. It's kind of cool. It is cool. Yeah. I feel like you're there. Yeah. Wait, go back, Brian, one more time. The one that I saw was really cool. There's one. Yeah. Tel Aviv, downtown. Yeah, do that one. There's one here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right in the middle of... Downtown and it's pretty cool. Yeah, right here. Look at this one. Yeah, and you just you just put this on and you just put it on the background. Yeah. Cool. God, why are there so many? Is this a real touristy place? Well, I mean, oh yeah, it's pretty lived in. You got all. <laughs> it's probably one of the big tourist yeah. capitals of the world. Oh yeah, Tel Aviv. Yeah. I feel like I'm looking at a bunch of white liberals. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the video, honor, of, man. The video I saw was definitely not that. Oh, really? I was in the back streets, and they had like the 
curls, the oh, hats. Oh, you're talking about the Hasidic Jews. Like, I was like, okay, it was wow. like hardcore. Yeah. I felt like By I was way, looking at San There's the meaning of it. Here. Autonomous, sensory, meridian, 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 it's a response. Yeah. Autonomous, sensory, meridian response. Meridian response, yeah. Okay. All right. That's cool. Autonomous, sensory, meridian response. Yeah. Hmm. It triggers a relaxing huh. feeling. All right. Well, welcome to Weightlifting Talk. This is Christ. Cover to Cover Radio. Cover to Cover. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, is that the... Yeah. See, I was looking it up on mine, uh, my Hebrew app. and uh, it was Yeah, right here. Look at the Hebrew word. Serpent, dragon, yeah. sea monster. See, yeah. Mine says... Yeah, a, a monster that you're placing over me. Yeah, it just says monster in this Hebrew. So, interesting. That's cool. All right, here we go. Um, shoot, I'll, I'll kick it off. I'll kick it off here. Okay. Kick it. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. I don't even think I read this morning. Here we go. Uh, chapter 8. Then, Bilidad, okay. mm-hmm. the Shunite, replied to Job. Okay, here we go. Quote, how long will you go on like this? You should like, uh, you sound like a blustering wind. Does God twist justice? Does the Almighty twist what is right? Your children must have sinned against him, Mm -hmm. so their punishment was well deserved. But if you pray to God and seek the favor of the Almighty, and if you are pure and live with integrity, he will surely rise up and restore your happy home. And though you started with little, you will end with much. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is Bildad's solution to Job's issue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not sure, right? Yeah. But he's given he's you know they think that he's done right. some great great wrong exactly. like yeah you brought you know, this on yourself I I, yeah. I I really get where he's coming from though I mean put yourself in his shoes sure. and you don't know the sure. going on oh absolutely uh, with the uh, the thing going on yeah. up in heaven there so yeah yeah well the enemy I mean one of the main th- things here is the enemy attacks people mm-hmm. of God that's right right remember remember the, uh, the 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 version we read the Young's literal says. That God goes, Satan. Have you have you noticed my my servant Job? Because he is so upright and yeah. godly and rich and a man of, of faith. So you know when Satan, the Bible says, that Satan seeks mm-hmm. the precious one, meaning the, the righteous. Yeah, and and that's exactly what's happening here. Not necessarily because Job is some great sinner, right? But the enemy is coming to steal, kill, and destroy, especially mm-hmm. God's people. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, so looking on from the outside, you might say, "Hey, have you checked to see if you're like sending a lot?" You know, that's I, I think that's what most of us would do if we came into a person who's just in this terrible turmoil. You start to evaluate it. Like, have we ruled out this? Have mm-hmm. we ruled out? Is there constant sin in your life that's leading to this particular thing? Yeah, you know, um, because typically, if God's correcting you, He's correcting you in the direction you're wrong in. He's not. He's not saying let's just pile some bad things on somebody and let them figure it out. It's it's like a directed like you know like yeah it's kind of like when that. I died at the yeah. zoo and I had my cardiac arrest I wrote a blog after that I should look yeah. that blog up by the way it actually kind of went viral not mm. to toot my own horn wow. and be prideful nice. but it it because it, it was like my first response to sure. I don't the public I don't mean to sound like some right. sort of you know but it was like kind of my first piece of writing after as I was actually still in the hospital mm. yeah and uh, it was called God killed me to save me. Mm. And so the way I took my cardiac arrest was is that God is the one that dropped me. Mm-hmm. God is the one that killed me for mm-hmm. 16 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, of course, I had and a conversation with the gold, <laughs> gold angel, yeah, and then and then brought me back to life. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think that was the devil's doing no. that sniped me out. Yeah. I think that was God that took me down. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it was the best thing he ever did. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, life-changing. Life-changing. Yeah. Wow. I mean, would you agree yeah. with that, Brian? I mean, I want your honest opinion here. Or do you think that was the possibly the devil that took me out of the zoo? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that God does that kind of thing. Listen, but he he know he definitely uses every scenario or every situation. I think, and I don't even think necessarily it was the devil. 
Mm. Right? Things happen. Right? We live in a fallen world where there's mm. death. You know? And I don't have the answer. No, I can never say one way or the other. Not really. Yeah. But I do I know the majority of the time is that is that we have there's death, right? The Bible says that the sun shines on the righteous and the unrighteous, and it rains on the unrighteous mm-hmm. and the righteous. So, although I think I'm I'm a, I'm agreeing with you that I think that God takes the scenario of death mm-hmm. that happened to you, and he he create he he knew that was going to happen, and he used that situation to 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 uh, to bring you back to life, mm-hmm. godly life. So I don't. I don't know. I can't. I don't really think. I can't confirm that he took you out. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I mean, God can do whatever he wants, right? He still takes people out, like in the New Testament. Mm-hmm. There, you know. Yeah. So I can't confirm that, but yeah. But everything points to like the world is full of death right now, right? And so it's almost like the scenario happened, and God was like, "Now's the chance. John needs to respond, and he will." And so whatever – it worked, it worked mm-hmm. right? So I think your blog is right on the money. I just don't know – I don't know the mechanism. Yeah, that's you a know. tough one, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, I mean, Brian, for that answer. That was great. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think what you can say from it, again, not knowing <clears throat> the particulars, none of us really know it completely. What you can say is this. We know God's sovereign, okay? So we mm-hmm. go back on that. God is absolutely sovereign, which means he's not only powerful over everything, but he knows all and sees all. Yeah. Therefore, he knew before you were born that was going to happen to you that day. That's wild. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. It was part yeah. of his. And he knows when you're going to get your next that's right. full-time he, he job. He knows all of it. See? He, he knows it all. It, his providential plan said, I'm going to let this happen. His permissive plan. So it's under his will. But couldn't he say before I was born as he was weaving me? Mm-hmm. Right? Because he knew me before I was even my mom's stomach. Right? Mm-hmm. You're right. That's right. Couldn't he have said, I'm going to drop north in the, at the zoo 16? He could have said, I'm going to allow this to happen. Well, you got to remember this. God created humanity in perfection. That, yeah. That's what we were designed. In other words, in God's plan, mm-hmm. we would never suffer these things. So anything that we suffer, illness or anything else in this world, is because of sin. Okay? Wow. It doesn't so mean wait, particular do you think, sin in your life. It means sin in general has destroyed But it. do yeah. you think that my mm-hmm. sin in my life before the zoo... That, in, that no, I don't was, think that's what caused it. I think that yeah. sin in the world caused it. Yeah, remember, death the Bible says that sin. by one man's sin, really? right. no. death entered the world, death entered not the world. yours. That's right. That's right, right there. So but, because, I, yeah. so, but guys, I died, though, from other people's sin? You died from sin in general. It, yeah. In other words, it wasn't a directed sin, like, this person did this and caused you to die. It was sin entered the world, death, disease, destruction, sadness, all these things entered the world with it. Sin brought yep. all those plagues upon us. Right. Yeah. And everyone suffers from it. So everybody who dies dies not because of God's perfect plan, yeah. but because of God's He lets you, He He allows but it to how, happen because but of sin. I got now. saved two weeks before that, sure. so Jesus sure. was in me, so a demon sure. couldn't kill me. No. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, like with Job, I don't believe that Satan has the ability to kill anyone without God's permission. Right. I think God I, because look, death is coming for us all. I right right. I have I have a little I have something uh, different good. than that. That's a good yeah. point. So I you know if, if I I think well first of all according to the scripture you know we're death came in the earth because of Adam's yes, sin. Yes, that's right. If you want to get super technical, sure. So because of Adam's sin, mm-hmm. death rushed in, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so because of that. You have all this horrible thing, horrible stuff, mm-hmm. fear, right? Because what the you know all this stuff, fear, anxiety, death, and so on. Right. So the enemy, right, is dealing with this, and that's what he uses. That's he right. is the spirit of fear. The Bible says mm-hmm. so, right? So now he literally has people are in covenant essentially with Satan, right. with death. Yep. Before they're born again, mm-hmm. you know, you, you know, people are like God's going to send you to hell. Well, that's not really how it works. You are now connected to death when you're born. Right. Once you get to that age of accountability and you make that decision, because God is merciful mm-hmm. for the young, right? But once you get to that point and you you reject God, you reject Jesus, and you move forward with your selfish life, right? Essentially, that's what happens. Mm-hmm. You are now still, you're connected back to the father of lies. Mm -hmm. Jesus said it like this. You are of the father. You are of the devil. Your father. So are you saying that when I'm born, 
from yeah. when I'm born, I'm actually sliding down into the pits of hell, and it's my free will to stop sliding down and then start oh. to climb up the hill to Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So good. Good question. So let's let's start because uh, I think you're. You've got the right idea. Yes, we are broken from birth. Uh, yep. Sin has broken us. We're just broken. And you don't even through. have to do one thing. No, wrong. no, we're broken. It's it's born. So that's yeah. where we're headed. That's where we're headed. Yep. I would say yes. Your free will allows you a choice, but only because, and this is this is where some people will disagree, but I think it's clear in Scripture. Only because the Holy Spirit has interjected Himself into your life at some point and given you the option to choose God. Sinful man without the influence of the Holy Spirit does not seek God. Yeah, it's a, it's like a, a bank robber seeking a policeman. They don't do it. We don't do it because we don't want God. We want the hell we're headed for. So, but isn't that Brian kind of what the whole Will Hawkinson debate is, where we don't have then the free will to get saved? We have free will because God. Ele- now, I think here, here again, maybe you're splitting hairs. At the point that the Holy Spirit comes to you, I think you do have the right to say yes. Right. Or no. It's kind of both. There's free will. It's kind of both. You, but you don't have free will under sin. You, you just think you do under sin. You are you are you are a slave to sin, is what Paul tells us. We are absolute slaves to sin. Yeah, but and, there, you see, there's always the choice, right? Mm-hmm. Right. There's mm-hmm. two things that happen. You, mm-hmm. you have preachers that preach the word, right? Right, and you hear it. Mm-hmm. You have pe- friends that right. pre- preach the word to you, and you hear it as a sinner, mm-hmm. as as a non-believer, right. right? And you have a choice at that point. Plus, yes. the Spirit of God is always right. moving yes. and, and, that's and calling, people. always calling. And then he might not be loud and say, John, no, yeah, what happens, come on. What happens if you turn your back to him over and over and over? You can. You can. And, and, this, and that voice gets quieter and quieter. And yep. eventually the Bible says, and this is an awful statement, yeah. but it says it. He will turn you over to your yes. own reprobate or basically your twisted evil mind. Right. And you now you no longer, the, right. God really doesn't pursue you like he ever did. He right. did before. Yeah, it's like, so now, I'm sure there's always a chance, but yeah, he'll turn you over and say, "Okay, you go do what you want to do." Yeah. I don't have that. I don't know when, and I don't think there's a sin, a moment where you go, where you like, "Oh, I feel like it's over now," or right. there's a, like you could 25 sins and it's over. Right. People it's will talk just, about like the unpardonable sin, right? And you know what the, the unpardonable sin, which is kind of a terrible blasphemy. name for it, it's blaspheming the Holy Spirit. But it, it, what it means is rejection of the Holy Spirit. Well, yeah, that is yeah. unpardonable because what you're saying is the means of salvation I have rejected. Well, so of course you can't be saved. But right. if you were to reject the Holy Spirit and then later come back and say, I accept you, that sin it will be pardoned from you. You see what I'm saying? So it's really not unpardonable. It's saying while you hold on to that perspective and that view, salvation is impossible right. without, you, without the Holy Spirit reaching in and you reaching back. Mm-hmm. And so we do have free will when the Holy Spirit approaches us. And I do believe, like Ryan said, I think he's always, always trying to do that. We, God is not withholding and saying, if you can find me, I'll let you in. He's saying, I'm right here. Right. Come in, you know. Um, yeah, the, by, the, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah says that his eyes are always running, running to and from, and from the earth. That's right. Back and forth to see, to show to see to see who he can show strong himself strong. Yes. So he's wanting that. But like to go back to the beginning real quick. I know we go back to Job, but when you're born, you're born into sin. Yes. You're born into death That's immediately right. Right. from the moment of conception. Yeah. And then when when that day comes where you have to make a decision as a young person, mm-hmm. 12, 13, 14, whatever it is for you, mm-hmm. if you don't choose the right choice and you die in a car wreck. You are subject to death because of Adam's sin, and Satan has control of death. He is the father of lies. He's the god of this world. That's that's the the world. The earth is still the universe is still is still cursed by death. Yes, it says yeah. it's waiting for the salvation of Jesus to bring it and redeem the the entire universe, redeem the earth. Right. So death is still prevalent. Mm-hmm. What Jesus did was he. He brought he he took the keys of death yeah. and hell. He took dominion over it and said, "No longer are you making people slave to death right. and slave to Abraham's bosom right. in hell, yeah. which is was not the burning one. But now I have the keys, yeah. and I'm going to give it over to my people, and they're going right. to come on into heaven whenever they're ready. Yeah, hell and where's your a, victory? Now they have a choice, a real choice. Hell where's your victory, and death where's your sting? Yeah, taken, so it, you know, so that's yeah, why Jesus taken. came, John, to re, to pull us out of death, not 
not to take take over, not so we can take over. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. But that's coming. That day is coming yeah. too. But it's to pull us out so we can yeah. choose and, and and leave hell. Yeah. And, and so that's why I would say I really believe that when we talk about free will, I think we we have free will. When we enter Christ, our free will is expanded. We have so much more freedom under Christ than we believe we have under sin. See, we mm-hmm. believe that when we put Christ on, it's all these rules and regulations. But what we don't understand is under sin, we are under a pound of rules and regulations and, and slave chains that we don't understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Jesus takes those chains yeah. off. And, and and so getting back to what you were talking about, God knew what was going to happen to you. He knew it before you were born. Um, whether he caused it or not is not the question. He allowed it, and he utilized it. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. allowing Job to be tested. He's not causing this. He's allowing it, right. and he is using it to then right. bring glory to himself. Uh, yeah, he's not stopping the devil for sure. No. He's just saying, okay, my hands are off. Yeah, go go get him. Yeah. I mean, I can't stop you. Yeah, but you can't kill the guy because he right. he believes in me for his life. Which is the beauty of this because Satan mm-hmm. thinks he's winning some battle because he's he's gonna get this guy to do whatever he's gonna punish him. And God's saying, the more you do this, the more it just shows me. You know, it's just gonna show my glory and my love mm-hmm. for him and his love for me. You're just gonna lose. Yeah, yeah. that's what he's telling the devil. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Anyway, that. it's a it's a complicated. It's not that complicated, yeah. but it's a. It's so what happened to you? A, a God's glory was shown. Through what yeah. happened to you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, has con- and continues to be shown. Because yeah. you continue to look back on that day as life-changing. Mm. And tell others about it. Right. So it continues to be shown. Wow. As, as God's Amen. Glory. Yeah. Boy, you guys you guys just dropped a lot of knowledge bombs there. Holy that, was smokes. A, that was a pretty deep theological discussion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a big question. <laughs> Did God kill me yeah. at the park? I mean, God, dude, that's a tough one. Is he the cause or is no, he, is he the, well, that, I would agree. No, he's not. He's he's allowing it in his provincial mm-hmm. rule. He's allowing this. You know, And so, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, but at that point, I got saved two weeks before. So, right. you know, I got to pull an Esther and just say, if I die, I die. die, I die. Yeah. That's right. But That's here's right. the beauty you of know. it, John. He, he knew that was going to happen, and he knew two weeks before. Yeah. yeah. And, that his, See, was, that, and so, so the that's, spirit of God so was overwhelming. So John, I think that I, I always ask myself that, you know, yeah. the, the timing on that is yeah. crazy. I mean, yeah. two weeks after I get saved, right. you know, I get dropped at the zoo. Mm-hmm. Come on now. So it's a, and like Ryan said, I think there was a reason for that by God's doing. Well, sure. It was Liv wasn't born yet, was no, she? No, oh, no, Liv wouldn't be here without. Right. So yeah. there would be no. There would be no leave. Liv. No. Leave. So got, Brian, I'm <laughs> used to saying leave <laughs> now. So, team. Leave. So you've got a whole person that wouldn't exist. Right. Yeah. It was just Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah. It was just Lincoln. Whole person yeah. and who knows, maybe some more per- persons. Yes. Who? Praise <laughs> God on that. Oh, look at how many people's lives is, are changed, changed through the podcast, through the yeah. men's group, through the, the team. Yeah. The I team. mean, we're praying what in the back of Arnold. That point? Yeah. The Arnold. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's it's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. Then God, I got, God bat- knows, got baptized you know? after that. And, mm-hmm. uh, the story still goes on. Yep. Yeah, and it's always fun to tell how I kept going in the back of the line. That was funny. All right, let's get to <laughs> let's get to <laughs> that's the best. All right, uh, all right. I did the first paragraph there, yeah. uh, Chris. You want to hit eight? Yeah, yeah. sure. I'll do eight. Um, chapter or not? Um, yeah, oh yeah. Chapter eight, chapter verse, verse eight. eight. There yeah. we go. Uh, for inquire now of the former generation and pay attention to the findings. Wait, hold on, hold on. Is that right? We're in the right place? No. Oh wait, I'm in the net. Sorry. I, I, took didn't, I didn't switch back over. That's my bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going crazy. I'm like, that's not it. It's just, okay. I'm not in my comfort zone. Okay, here we go. All right. Just ask the previous generation. Pay attention to the experience of our ancestors. For we were born but yesterday and know nothing. Hmm. Our days on earth are as true. fleeting as, shadow, as a shadow. But those who came before us will teach you. They will teach you the wisdom of old. Hmm. Great words. Hmm. Can papyrus reeds grow tall without a marsh? Can marsh grass flourish flourish without water? While they are still flowering, not ready to be cut, they begin to wither more quickly than grass. This is kind of like Jesus yeah. with his parables. Yeah, mm. I mean, you're getting a poetic right. address. Yeah. yeah, It's beautiful. Can this happen? Can this happen? Mm-hmm. The same happens to all who forget God. The hopes of the godless evaporate. Wow. Their confidence hangs by a thread. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. They are leaning mm-hmm. on a spider's web. They cling to their home for security, but it won't last. Oh my gosh! Wow. wow, he's talking about eternal life. He's talking about everything. He's saying you yeah. cling to you cling to the things you have, right? And they're like leaning on a spot. You ever tried to lean on a spider web? 
I imagine you doesn't fall. work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't work <laughs> unless you're a fly in Charlotte's right, web. Right, right, right. Oh, um, this is poetic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Salutations. Oh, right. Yeah. This is just saying you got to believe in God, baby, and you'll yeah. you'll, mm-hmm. you'll have eternal life. Notice they try to hold on tight, but it won't endure. The, the, I, I hold yeah. on tighter. It's like the sand, you know, slipping through your fingers. Mm-hmm. The godless seem like a lush plant growing in the sunshine, its branches spreading across the garden. Its roots grow down through a pile of stones. It takes hold on a bed of rocks. But when it is uprooted, it's uh, it's as though it never existed. That's mm-hmm. the end of its life, and others spring up from the earth to replace it. Mm-hmm. See, that's wow. the thing. It has if no real root. If you don't right. believe in... At this point, if you don't believe in Yahweh, mm-hmm. you don't believe in Jesus as of today, yeah. you you just think that you die and that's it. Yeah. And that, first of all, that's false. Right. Yeah. And what a horrible way to live life and even have that in your mind. That's the first and it's lie. it's the truth because avoid. then yeah. when you die, guess what? You're going to realize, if you even do realize, if yeah. you go to hell, like, mm-hmm. like I really messed up. Like yeah. I, I wonder to the person that goes to hell. And yeah. even saying that really hurts my heart. Yeah. Are they going to have regret when they get there? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Because their eyes will be open to the truth. Oh, even more. Yeah. Like, they're, yeah. They're, who they really are, they'll remember everything. Every time that you said, hey, God loves you, H- how you yeah, doing? And they'll be like, I hate that person. They're Christians. Yeah. They're going to remember it all, man. Because yeah. yeah. they're spirit. Wow. Now, and they have no earth. That's right. Now, don't we see ha- them again when Jesus comes back? Don't the people from hell come back to earth? There is a there is a judgment that takes place before the before God that they're going to be in front of. Could those people in hell somehow get get back up to get up to no. heaven? No, it's permanent. Uh, which sounds so weird. Look, in this temporal life we live, which is everything he's saying, it's like a blade of grass here today, gone tomorrow. Mm-hmm. This is where that decision gets made. On the other side of eternity, there are no decisions. You've made your decision. Wow. Man, that makes you not want to sin at all. Yeah. That makes you want to just stay in the word and go to church every day and get on your knees. I mean, come on. Thank God for That's why Jesus came. Mercy. But here's the deal. Remember, remember, the whole thing is, and people would say, like, why would God do that? That's not a loving God. Remember, the spiritual world is a legal world. Yeah. There are legal things that have to be done. The, the, one of the reasons why Abraham had to say yes to sacrificing Isaac. God never required it. No. Th- all the way through. He wanted the requirement of the heart. Mm-hmm. Abraham was willing no matter what. So all these little things God needed men to say yes to so he could finally say without breaking his own laws, right? His word is his law. So that's why all that's why when people die, his word has already said, when you die without a covenant with Jesus, mm. it's over. Yeah. And he can't do anything about it. Remember there's a scripture in the book of Revelation chapter 21 or 2, don't remember which one, but he says, in that day when Jerusalem, when the new heaven comes down and mm. merges on the new earth. Right. I will wipe away all the tears. Well, I'm sure that's God's tears also because he has to send his sons and daughters to be away from him Mm -hmm. forever with Satan, their Lord. Satan is their Lord. Bound. Bound, yeah. And that's it, right? So it's not like God doesn't want to forgive them. Uh, No, he he wants to forgive them. He's already forgiven them. They need to grab hold of that rope and pull Mm -hmm. themselves in. That's the problem. All they have to do is accept. That's the thing. The, the yeah. price has been paid. So I used to say it's like it's like having a Christmas tree full of gifts that you never unwrap. You know, it just, it just sits there. The gift is waiting and paid for, yeah. but yeah. you never unwrap it. And that's that's what I was going to say earlier. I think the most insidious lie that that the atheist or people like that fall to first is that nothing happens to me when I die. It's it's not just there isn't a God. Nothing happens to me when I die. I just cease to exist. That's the first and most insidious lie. Because yeah. if you believe that, it's easy to go without a God. Well, I just won't exist anymore. Yep. I can live with that. But that's not I the vanish. truth. It's a lie. You will exist. Your your soul is eternal. The, the human soul was created to be eternal. Yep. And it will exist forever in hell. And that's oh. if they don't know like, that, that, you know, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, it's it's like it's Kaiser terrifying. Soze says in, in the in the movie Usual Suspects. He says the greatest trick is when the devil made people believe he never existed. That's right. 
Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All right, one more. Oh, wow. Yeah, Brian, you want to slam dunk it? Sure, sure. Verse 20. But look, God will not reject a person of integrity, nor will he lend a hand to the wicked. He will once again fill your mouth with laughter, and your lips will shout with shouts of joy. Mm. Those who hate you will be clothed with shame, mm. and the home of the wicked will be destroyed. It's a little prophecy here. Huh? Some good, uh, good friend yeah. there. So, I mean, I thought that was all amazing advice, yeah. every yeah. single sentence. Yeah, yeah, what he's saying is not untrue. Um, the, the whole thing is truth, but but he comes from a premise that that Job has sinned, and that's what's causing this, and that's where it's not true. Right. The rest of it, what he says is, is dead on. Look, if you've sinned and you caused this, turn your. He's saying but turn he's back. Kind of, but in a way, though, kind of like what we were discussing. Mm-hmm. Sorry to interrupt. No, it's good. In a way, it's it is true because mm-hmm. it's and it's not just Job's sin. Mm-hmm. Job's a sinner. We all are. Right, right, right. It's the sin of the world. It's the sin of Adam. So in yeah. a way, he's kind of right. Well, that's what right? he's right about repentance. That's what he's talking about. Right. It just doesn't happen to apply to Job's particular situation. But it, but he, what he's saying is repent. Right. All of us have to repent. You know. Right. That, that's what he's talking about here. But in particular, this doesn't solve Job's problem. Is what I'm saying. This isn't the solution to his his issue. No, but it gives him more confidence to switch his attitude towards himself and God. Sure. I mean, look, if anything... Right, he hasn't go- cursed God. I'm no, not no, no, saying no, no, that, no, but no. maybe this will give him just some good, mm-hmm. positive energy sure. to be like... Sure. To switch his mindset mm-hmm. from saying, I shouldn't have been born. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I mean, well look, I, you I, said it, John. Look at sorry, the first five. Said he literally it. says it. But if his friend says, but if you mm-hmm. pray to God, God yeah. and seek the favor of the Almighty... If you live, if you're pure and live in integrity, he surely will ra- raise you up and restore you. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, you're right. We haven't heard Job pray to the Lord, God, I love you. Help me restore my home, heal my body. You are the best there ever is. Right. I need you. He doesn't say that. He's like, oh, poor me. Yeah. It sucks. Life sucks. And yeah. it does. Yeah. That's a good point. Chris, sorry, I yeah. didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I, I think because it gets into a very complicated thing with suffering. So, you know, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. Um, does Satan use things to pull us away from God and entice us? Yes, uh, he definitely does. That's his, that's his MO. That's what he does. Um, do bad things happen in life because sin exists in the world without there really being much of a reason why? Of course they do. They happen. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but are there things in life that God allows to correct us? So that's what we were talking about earlier. When God corrects someone, like you're into a sin that you won't give up, there are natural consequences usually to that sin. That are just consequences, mm-hmm. right? But God may make allow a consequence into your life that is directly about that sin. Like you keep doing this, and this is what you get to correct you. Mm. And usually, but but what I'm saying is, God tends to be very direct with that correction. This is the problem. He's not like, here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put some bad things on you, and you're just gonna kind of figure it out. It's it's very much a directive correction, like your parents would do. Like, doesn't the Bible say that nothing that happens to you is something that you can't deal with? It says that God, that nothing that God will not take you through or allow an escape. He allows an yeah. escape sometimes, and that's this thing's being put on us, right? And that may be something from an oppression from from mm-hmm. the evil or whatever. Because yeah, you were right about being possessed. I don't believe that a Christian can be possessed by a, a demon because, quite literally, we are already possessed. By the Holy Spirit. Yeah, literally, we have the Holy We're Ghost in us. We're up with the Holy Spirit. Wow. So I've never even looked at it that way. But I he's do, not controlling. No, he's not controlling. Not at all. No. Uh, he's, he, but yeah. he reminds us. But I do believe mm-hmm. we can That's be wild. oppressed by demonic. In other words, an attack by an outside, evil spirit. Outside. Putting things on top of us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. That so much. And, and so we see those things. But again, God, if he wants to correct you, usually takes a very Grab good Grab that line. sword. Chris, right. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Chris, yeah, <laughs> look, he says he chastens those that's he right. loves. That's right. Right? Like, meaning he corrects those. He, right. he, he, uh, mm-hmm. you know, he, he disciplines those right. he loves. And it's yeah. true. I mean, yeah. we do that to our kids. And that's right. how does he do it? He does it differently for mm-hmm. everyone. That's right. Because you, you take yeah. discipline and correction mm-hmm. different than I do. Yeah. Because if yeah. I came to you and said, Sean, you're wrong, you're yeah. you're totally wrong, yeah. what, blah, 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 whatever, whatever yeah. I said, right? Ooh, you could you yeah. could take that, yeah. and you might get offended and run. Right. Yeah. But if I, if I came to you a different way and said, Hey, John, mm. check this out. This is this is the way I'm, I'm looking at this. What do you, let's rethink this. Yeah. Or however, you would you would you would say, Oh, you're totally right. So yeah. however the Lord does deal with you, mm-hmm. 
he deals with me different. I might take a slap in the face and be like, God, I needed that. Like today, when you're like six kilo jump, what the beep? You can say that. But (laughs) I was like, God, I needed that. I needed to hear that instead of. Uh, I so I take correction differently right. than, than Chris and yeah. so on. So right. God does it. He does it though. So He perfectly mm-hmm. sows your little spirit up mm-hmm. and mine and yeah. says, "Well, this you is it. you both say it all the time." That. I had that that personal relationship with it God. Is. You know, it's so individual. You know, we it see is. we see how personal God is in every chapter and how He mm-hmm. has a different relationship with everybody right. and how He's yeah. emotional like everybody. And, right. and you know, it's it's um it's yeah. it's not the I am God. Right, Tight. right. You are all robots, and I, right. a person with no emotion. That yeah. that's I, I feel like society likes to kind of create. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Well, oh, they do. See, that, I'm sorry, Chris, but they they okay. do. They create this like, look at all these like Thor and all these these, yeah. these polythea, you know, multi gods, and they're, yep. you know, they they look like this, and, and then one has a patch on the eye, and right. one is just sitting on the throne, and oh, one's mad and evil, and one's a pushover and a piece of garbage who has many women or many men. Yeah. That's not God. It's just the world and the mm-hmm. enemy, you know, yeah, fogging our humanity. mind with who God really is. Right. And and. And to and uh, again, kind of looking at what's going on with Job and us and, and things like that, there are things in our life that we may see as evil or bad that God is simply allowing to time out. I, 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 I'll, I'll be real personal about this. That's where I am. I, I'm sitting in a place I don't want to be in. Mm. You know, I don't want to be without a job. I, I love working. I love working. And now I'm not. And so there's all this pressure from the man side of me. Go get a job anywhere and do anything. Right. Mm. But over the last few months, I've been very convinced by not just myself, but my wife and other people in my life. And honestly, reading scripture, God has something for me that's perfect for me. It's not so not perfect for you or Brian or anybody else, but it is perfect for me. And to accept less than that is not to have faith in him for his perfection. Mm-hmm. So that's why I've been struggling with, you know, should I go back to the schools or whatever? That's my safe blanket. That's where I can always go and make money. But when I tried to go and do that, that day, it was it was just sickening to my soul. Mm. I walked out of that of that interview that I sh- I could have grabbed like mm. that and was sick to my stomach because I felt like I was abandoning what God had for me. Wow. So right now I'm trying to learn, uh, not there, to sit and say, God, I want your best for me, not what I can grab off the table. I don't want the crumbs. I want yeah. the feast. Mm. You know? And that's hard to do because but you're, but you're also substituting, which God is providing. He's providing, and and we're, I'm doing that. But it's it's one of those deals that I have to trust God for this, and I don't. I mean, just be honest. I don't like trusting God for this. I want to make it happen yeah. on my own. You know, I, know. I mean, I just want to make it happen. Mm-hmm. But but I, I want to go this back to bad, yeah. and it may be what God is doing is is yeah. ultimately very good. But it's from the long. I can't view. get pregnant if I'm that old. God, right, right. I'm Sarah. I'm like ninety. <laughs> I don't want to be 90 <laughs> when I get said, the job, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you Why are right. you laughing, S- right. Sarah? Exactly. I'm not laughing. Right. Yes, 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 you, you are. are. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, it's funny because yeah. that's a great moment because uh, Abraham still couldn't see it. But God right. had to take right. him outside and show him the stars Yeah. so he could realize, oh, man, all things are possible. But I have his be- and realize he tried to do the same thing. I, I want a I want a child yeah. so bad, but I, I, I wish I could have one. But I'm going to take this into my own hands because I can make it happen. Yeah, the hands made <laughs> things. And then he he goes and <laughs> humans and, and God's like humans. that's not what I want. I had something better for you. Right, you've circumvented uh, my best yeah. for what you can grab a hold of. And, but by the way, you know, that yeah. was suggested by the woman. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, man. Real, gonna, right? She said, yeah. "Come on, son, come on in here." Mm-hmm. But but look Hagar, at Hagar. Hagar's ready. Yeah, but look at. He should have said Adam and Eve. Adam sent. You know, we blame it on Eve, but Adam's the one who took the apple. Oh, he's the one who took the apple. Yeah, Uh, Abram could have said no, but he took it too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What was offered to to man to please himself, he grabbed, and we we Mm. throw it on the woman. But but you know, and she's guilty too. She has her guilt. Mm. But, mm-hmm. well, they but both our are. appetites mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. whatever it is, for respect, for money, for power, yep. lead us down that trail every stinking time. And I say that yeah. about, about Christian leaders, too. I'm, I've known plenty of Christian leaders who have fallen to that. Same mm-hmm. thing. You know? mm-hmm. Abraham was 13 years from yeah. when God, and he told, Abr- he told Sarah. Yeah. And, and Abram, so there you go. Sarah well, and Abram, he's like, hey, 13 years. you're going yeah. <laughs> to have a baby. Long, now, yeah. Chris is not going to be <laughs> yeah. 13. Okay, I hope not. They did, at that time, they did live like 900 years. 
That's true. Yeah, well, he, he was 100. And, oh, yeah. 100, 120. Yeah. <laughs> he died at 120, Abraham? Yeah, he was about, yeah, about 120. I mean, yeah. the... the, the Life after the flood. decreases after, yeah, after the, the flood. flood. He pretty got 120, though. It's nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. that's real good. 120 good. and with eternal life. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's, he's the father <laughs> of the faith. Hey, I mean, that's, he's, a, he's propped up. Baby. He's going to have gems out the wazoo in, on his crown. You think in heaven he's way up there? Well, I mean, we're not. Yeah. Are we yeah. equal yeah. in heaven, or do you think that a guy like Abraham is going to be kind of walking around with like a crown? He's not a. He doesn't have a pedestal. Right. But you see him. He's a patriarch. He is. Uh-huh. Abraham, you know, he, wow. he of course, so we we're, just gonna, we're just going to see him walking around. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, Scripture does oh say God, that we do get crowns for what we've done. We're rewarded with crowns, but but you've got to keep reading, because what it says is at the end of it, everybody takes all their crowns, and they throw them at Jesus' feet. Yeah, you know, you we're want, all you stripped of our crowns. John, you want, the, you want the Bible to blow your mind? Check yeah. this out. Wow. It says this. It says that this is Jesus' own words. He says... John the Baptist Mm -hmm. was the greatest prophet of his time. But those in the kingdom of God Mm -hmm. are greater than John the Baptist. And he's talking about you and me and Chris and everyone listening who is born again. Because the Holy Ghost, Mm -hmm. the God himself, is in you. And they they listened and they, you know, the the, the Spirit of God came over them. But he calls you greater than John the Baptist on the earth. So you're not, you're not something that's not special. Abraham was special. Sure, he did good things. But you are the same level as him. Even though he is a patriarch and he has honor, you're, you're, you're just as grand. Because you can take the Spirit of God wherever you go. And you can prophesy to someone in the wow, street. That's amazing. You can lay hands on someone in the street. And I they love. Can I love hearing that. That makes yeah. me so happy oh, great. for us. Yes, you know. Yeah. But I do have a question. Sure. Yeah. Come on. But isn't Paul the Baptist? John the Baptist. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord, okay. forgive me. No, it's Lord, fine. forgive me. I'm not there yet. No. We're only in Job. No, forgive me. That was an honest mistake. <laughs> John the Baptist. Yeah, John the Baptist. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. He was a. Christian, he so understand this. There's that time John, when Jesus is alive. That even that was he was is. he Jewish beforehand? They're they're all Jewish. Okay, they, he's they Jewish. Jewish their entire but because life. he believed in Jesus, <laughs> mm-hmm. that makes him a connected Jew. So he he believe, he's one of the first. He, well, as far as we know, he's the first to attest to Christ's deity of humans. So he's the first Christian because to ever live. Even before he's alive. He leaps in his mother's womb when Mary approaches, who's pregnant yeah. with Jesus. He's, he's six months in the womb. Yeah, and and when Mary, Wait, that's Mary, his who's brother? pregnant, Wait, whoa, whoa. no, no, it's his cousin. cousin. They're cousins. When Mary approaches John the Baptist's mother, and she, Mary is pregnant too, with Jesus, it says that the baby in her womb leapt at the sight of the Messiah coming. In okay, other words, that knew what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Paul, the, John, John the Baptist was yeah. the first. He. Christian in the sense that he he actually wouldn't Mary be well Mary yeah. believed in Jesus right as as the uh, God's uh, son if we have to look at what we would call a Christian that's why I'm I'm kind of altering the term because Christ has to die for our sins mm-hmm. and then and be resurrected then Christianity as but, a Christian so, takes over but he was a believer in Jesus yeah. let's well, let's, ta- let's let's, uh, let's break it down a little technical yeah like yeah, the the word it. Christian means an anointed one. Mm-hmm. Family, the so family Jesus member. was not in him at the time because Jesus was not dead. Yeah, the spirit had not come yet. Yep, but he was there so, in person. Yes, he so was there remember, in person. Jesus didn't call us to be Christians right. technically. He called us to be disciples. Disciples, followers of, of the way. Yeah, right. We were just called Christians by yeah. people in the area, right. and here's why: because the same spirit that was raising people mm-hmm. from the dead, healing the sick, casting out devils was happening amongst those people in the book of Acts. And say that, wow, that, they're anointed yeah. by God just like Jesus was, right. Christ. Who, who died, so, they're, did, so they're Christians. Okay, did John the Baptist die before Jesus? Yes, he died during yes, Jesus' yeah. ministry. So then that, that, on, oh, so that means on. that John the Baptist went to Abraham's bosom. He went to the promise. And then, yeah, the and promise then, then saw Jesus were, pretty yeah. quickly after that. He yeah. was like, hey, I had to do a yeah. quick stop here. <laughs> year and a half, two yeah. years. So, yeah, um, Interesting. Off with his head. Oh, yeah, I won't tell you how he died, but... Yeah, yeah we don't go there, early. but... Now, wait a minute. Question, though. <laughs> Here's an interesting question. Mm-hmm. I have a really interesting question. Okay. Well, I guess it's not that interesting because heaven wasn't open at the time, but my question was originally, because John the Baptist believed in Jesus, did he skip Abraham's bosom when he died and went right to heaven because he bowed he, his knee? No, he wasn't born again yet. Right. 
Right, he wasn't born again. And, and because, remember, he, the Spirit, the Bible says that the Spirit mm-hmm. of God had to come down on earth. That's what he said. He goes, I see. Yeah. So Jesus yeah. had to die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so then John the Baptism yeah. went to Abraham's bosom for a short time. That would have been the custom. Yeah, and, and again, we're we're kind of exiting time at some point. We're not linear right? Yeah. at this. So did he... We don't know exactly when. Yeah. Did, they, they would have termed it as going to Abraham's bosom because they didn't have a concept of going well, to heaven like we do. I had to, re- some, to remember... Right. A little, te- a little technicality here. Yeah. Je- that when Jesus was raised from the dead, yeah. he did something that's kind of weird. Mm-hmm. He 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 comes out of the tomb, which is amazing, yeah. and he's sitting there in the garden, right? And Mary Magdalene is in there too, and all of a sudden she's like, "Don't touch it's me, Jesus!" Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right. he says, don't touch me, yeah. right. for right. I have not yet ascended right. to the Father. And so there was very specific things that he had to do, and one of those was eradicate any trace of sin in heaven on the mercy seat. You know, if you go to the book of Hebrews, it re- will read the first couple chapters, and it talks all about it, what he did there. Right? He had to anoint, uh, he had to anoint the uh, articles of worship right, with his blood. So the blood now sits on the, the, the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant on earth, which I believe it does, and in heaven. The, this is talking about the righteous blood of Jesus that's endless, and will never fade away. So you have now that's what's going on. Hmm. So Jesus had to do something. And I think at that point, right, at that point, when he went to heaven, he, he, when he did that, he made a way of salvation at that point. Because when, everybody was a fear, fearful mm-hmm. at that point. John was fearful. Thomas was afraid. Yeah. Peter was scared. But Jesus shows mm-hmm. back up on the earth and says, ha ha. Here I am, boys. Mm-hmm. And they said, Lord. And they got born again. That's yeah. what I think happened. Yeah. Oh, wait. So when he showed back up for the 40 days and then they saw him, they got born again because Jesus technically was dead and then has risen. He is risen. He That's is risen. He had, he had been dead and he is risen. Now. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so those were the first people that mm-hmm. had the Holy Spirit inside of them on earth because they were the first one that saw him well, as he risen. We don't really well, see the advent of the Holy Spirit until later. Uh, in Acts is where we see it at the day of Pentecost, and then we see the Holy Spirit being poured out on the church, which I think is not yeah. the same thing as salvation. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I th- well, and yeah, I think I think that's when we would say what we would call being Christian, kind of formed, but that's again we're splitting hairs on that a little. But we're, bit. But we're grafted in anyways. We, it's well, all and, one. Yeah, and remember they were all Jews. And here's what's interesting when you when you talk about you know you mentioned the word Christian, which means little little Christ or whatever, but. Originally, we weren't called Christians. We were called people of the way. That's what yeah, all the early followers started, of Jesus, which which is a better title because I, yeah. they weren't teaching a new scripture. They weren't. They didn't have new teachings, new right. religious purposes. They didn't have new religious anything. They were simply living a life that was mm-hmm. set aside and holy. In other words, yeah. people recognized them by their actions, not by what they were teaching. Right. And that's probably something we need right. to hear in modern America. I see. It's not yeah. that you have good theology. That's my new it's that thing. you live it. I always ask people. Yeah, that's interesting, Chris. Well, I always ask people now, do you walk? So you walk with Jesus? Right. Do you walk with Jesus? Right. That's, that's my new thing. That's awesome. That's right. Do you walk a with follower Jesus? I don't Jesus. say, do you are you a Christian Jesus? or what's yeah. your yeah. denomination? Right. I mean, there's a hundred ways to What am I that? supposed to say that? Yeah. I had somebody the other day yeah. in, a, in, a, in the... So I was out and about somewhere and they saw my tattoos. They go, oh, so you're... What denomination are you? And I said, the Bible. Yeah. Walk with Jesus. And they almost <laughs> fell over. I'm a like, follower of Christ. What do you want me to say, man? No. Like, I'm, I'm a man of the word. Yeah. I walk with Jesus. Yeah. I'm a hundred I'm a hundred percent Jewish and a hundred percent Christian. <laughs> That's my Look, Let me tell you what, line. if you actually if people knew <laughs> what the what the word I feel like Christian that line is really good. meant. Because it's true. Yeah. They knew what Christian yeah. Look if you look, if people were, I'm not going to name denominations or people out there if but call themselves Christian, if they really knew what Christian meant, they would have nothing to do with that name. Because that remember the word Christ is not a cute little last name for Jesus. Mm-hmm. No. You know why he's the Christ? Here's why. Because the power of Almighty God came out of his hands and his feet and his body, and it touched the world. Mm-hmm. People rose from the dead. Yeah. Eyes were open. Yeah. The lame walked. The blind could see. And the, the 5,000 were fed by a couple fish, a couple yeah. loaves of bread. Power. Mm. Was 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 bestowed on the earth, yeah. and guess what? You're a Christian because you now have that same power and authority mm-hmm. if you use it, mm-hmm. and you know what you're, you know, and you believe God. That's why. Mm-hmm. But all these people who say, you know, miracles gone away, and mm-hmm. 
you know, there's no more Holy Spirit and all oh, this gosh, other stuff. No. They're Better rejecting the word Christ. Better hope not. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Sal, good afternoon. Good to have you on the study here. Yeah. Look at Sal. Look at Sal. Um, I have a question. I actually, I, and this is why I'm going to ask this question so I have a little more ammo next time. Okay. Um, I was in a conversation with somebody and um, I'll just get right to the point. It was a good conversation and I feel like I was definitely like, I was getting a bunch of W's because mm-hmm. it was kind of a debate. Yeah. Okay. But this person looked at me and say, what is it? They said, where are you getting this Abraham's bosom? Mm-hmm. Why do you keep right. saying that? Mm-hmm. And I was like, unconfidently, I said, well, Abraham's bosom, what do you mean? It's in the Bible. It's yeah. in the Bible. They go, I've just never heard that word. And they had mm-hmm. other words for it. Right. Okay. And my question to you both as mm-hmm. pastors mm-hmm. is Abraham's bosom in the Bible, the actual mm-hmm. word. The term? Yes, the yes term. it is. Yeah. Luke chapter so I, 16. Yeah. I was right there. Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. You yeah. are correct. Yes. yes. You're correct. You're correct. Yes. You're correct. Yeah, Luke chapter 16 exactly spells it out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, now I'll know that next time. You got it. Uh, you know, we were talking about talking about how we view Jesus and following all that. One of the people who's really impressed me, you guys, have you ever heard of Jordan Peterson? Oh, he's great. I love Jordan Peterson. Yeah, he's great. He um, found Christ a few years ago. I think he did. I really oh, he did because did. I listened to his early stuff and they would ask him about Jesus. And he didn't, he wasn't one of those, he said, I, I think I'm an atheist, maybe an agnostic, I don't know. But he wasn't one of those aggressive, like against, he's like, and here's why. Uh, and his view, his view of it was, if I look at who Jesus is in scripture and I look at me, I don't approach that. I can't, I can't be, I can't call myself a Christian because the, the, what it would take to follow Jesus, I simply don't have. And that's what he would express right, every time. And through right. tears, he would express this. He's not a very emotional person. Yeah, right. He would go to tears. And then he would begin, then later in other years, I would hear him say, you know, I've, I've watched my wife struggle through this and realizing that Jesus can bring us to him. Which I thought, mm. that's healthy, man. You're realizing I can't do it. I see Jesus, and I have such a high view of him, I can't approach him. But now, yeah. I believe I can, not through my actions, but through the actions. And he, he didn't know to call it the Holy Spirit at the time. But I really believe he's come to that point, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, which I thought was brilliant. He's, he's one of the most brilliant men I've ever heard. Yeah, he is. No. I think he like, said publicly a few months ago he? that he got he oh, got love, saved. And he, he was did so he say that? I've been looking, man. but he's, pretty, he's, he's right he, there. He is so no, on he top did. of it. He did. Yeah, he is. Look it up on Google. Look it up on Google. Luke 16, 22, so it was that the beggar died and was mm. carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. Yeah. Is this Old right. Testament, Luke? Yeah, so, yeah. No, New Testament. Matthew, yeah, Mark, that's going to be John. out of the parable of the uh, of the um, Lazarus and the rich man. That's, mm-hmm. Isn't that what you're getting from? Yeah, which is an interesting parable. We call it a parable because it's supposed to be a story, but this is the only parable that, is in question that it might not be a parable at all. It might actually be a true story. Yeah, I don't think it's a parable. No, I, and I don't either. But that yeah. for, it's always listed. Well, why as a would parable. they talk about the Abraham's bosom and the new and not the old? Well, it was it was something no. So for instance, there's a ton of writings. I don't know if you can hear me or not. There's a well, ton of writings around the Old Testament uh, that are not scripture, mm-hmm. but they come from scripture. They and it's what the it's what it, it's what those who were in the scribes and, and, right. and people like that would write about mm-hmm. and the rabbis. And, and so that brings up a lot more of that than we, we're going to see in scripture. But, but Luke would have known that and heard that from people around him. Yeah. And would have well, used that terminology. Well, okay. not to mention uh, Jesus actually is the one who says this, this is his yeah, words. He's it, revealing right. the being, truth it's being that nobody had Luke. heard before. Oh wow. Yeah. So this is I mean, Or this is maybe they ink. had, but he's yeah, actually right. saying this is true. Parable. Mm-hmm. This has happened, yeah. right? So Jesus came and brought a whole new way. The Bible, uh, Paul writes and says, it's the living way. The new and living will you, way. Will you read yeah. that Abraham's bosom, like just a few lines around yeah, it? Like start that. like three lines above or something? Yeah, sure. The parable yeah. pretty short. So. Yeah, so it's uh, right here. Uh, certain a certain with purple and fine linen and fared so much joy, so, sumptuously yeah. every day. Yeah. And there was a certain beggar. I can't hear you all. My check went now? too. Yeah, yeah, I can now. Okay. A certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, dis- desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Mm-hmm. Moreover, the dogs came and he licked his sores. Mm-hmm. The, you know, talking about Lazarus, the beggar. Yeah. So it was that the beggar died and and was carried by the angels to Abraham's mm-hmm. bosom. And this is a story. Jesus is telling a true story about this is taking yeah. place in the Old Testament before him. 
Uh, this is yeah, story. This could be taking, yeah, because for really Jesus is yeah. before the New Testament because right. Jesus is the middle part of the old right. and the new that connect like the branch. Yeah, this to is, the, we don't know when this happened. Yeah, this could have been happened. years ago or now, been, but it's not the future. Before. My point is no, that even if it was happening now, yeah. Abraham's bosom was still open as Jesus was on earth. Yeah, he would have yeah, absolutely. It was. Oh yeah. gosh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, he get it. So now that's why he dove down in there when he died, and then he he talked to them and preached the gospel, and he raised from the dead. Yeah. So look, it says, let me finish a couple more. The rich man also died. Jesus said this. Yeah, Jesus Jesus said this. Okay, in Abraham's bosom, and when Jesus is on earth, Abraham's bosom is open because he hasn't died yet. Yeah, Yeah, look, let's read it. It will explain things. So it says, and then the rich man also died and was buried in being in torments in Hades. He remember one's in torments and one's by the side or of Abraham in the bosom of Abraham. So in the in the in the torment of Hades, which is a certain word about hell, it's not all just one place. Right. He lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off, and Lazarus Lazarus was in his bosom. Then he wow. cried, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Send Lazarus down so I can tip, dip the tip of a finger in the water and mm-hmm. cool my tongue, and I'm tormented in this flame. Mm-hmm. But Abraham said, Son. Interesting he said son because he's the yeah. father of us all. Remember that in your lifetime you received your good things like Lazarus' mm-hmm. evil things. But now he is comforted, and you are tormented. So they're both in hell. One's in the bosom of Abraham. A little section of hell that's yeah. not torment, and one's being tormented. Well, it was, is the guy being tormented? Can will he bow when Jesus comes in? Does he still have a chance to go to heaven when Jesus comes in? No, no, he's nope. in hell. Hell. Yeah, he's in hell. Oh, yeah, listen, I see. finish I reading because he's going to expose yeah. that. It says, and besides with, all with this, between says. us and you, there yeah. is a great gulf it is. fixed, so that those who want to pass from here mm-hmm. to you cannot, cannot, nor can those from there. Pass to us, so they oh can't get to each other because there's a big it's gulf right there. Here, right and here. I don't know how God set it up, but He has something that He remember that hell was created for the devil and his angels, so not was, for me. And why you. was that person mm-hmm. saying that to me then? They Again, know. people remember, they're taught, dude. Whatever they yeah. hear from the pulpit, they never read. There's people yeah, who don't people. believe in hell at all. There's Christians who don't believe in hell. Yeah, it's I, I crazy. met somebody the other day that was yeah. a, that didn't believe in demons. Yeah, what you know? What's what's crazy That's is they crazy. Um, they did a huge thing like eight years ago, uh, where they did a poll of Christians, and like seventy to seventy two percent of Christians did not believe in a literal devil or demons, oh. and and around fifty seven to sixty percent didn't believe in a literal hell. Christians see that's just didn't believe it. they don't believe in their Bible. Bible. They right. believe in angels. Um, Sal here, yeah, exactly. Sal like uh, Sal uh, said the Italian stallion here, greatest yeah. guy in the world. By there the you way. go. He say he's gonna. It, Sal has eternal life. Sweet. We're gonna we're gonna hang out forever together and lift weights. He said Luke. Um, uh, Sal loves the Lord, by the way. Yeah. Luke wrote a gospel. Mm-hmm. Mark, John, and Matthew had the other ex, other accepted gospels yes. in the New Testament. Yeah, four gospels: Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Matthew, Mark, yeah, and Luke are the synoptic gospels. Yeah, Luke is a John. gospel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the Sal. first books of the New Testament are the four Wait, gospels. That's right. So it's the story of Jesus, Wait. the good news. Oh yeah, yeah. Can mm-hmm. we, can so, we, Brian? Can I interrupt you here? Can we just talk about this? Sure. The New Testament's crazy good. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It says the angels brought this guy right. up up to Abraham's bosom. Yeah. He was he was when escorted by angels. Now no, note that. That's mm-hmm. Jesus talking. Look at sure. those guys. Sure. That means that when we die, yeah. yep. okay, today, because mm-hmm. heaven's open now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Abraham's bosom is possibly still open. Okay. <laughs> uh, when we die, angels take us to heaven. Mm-hmm. That yeah. is fascinating. Hey, look, so, look, you want you want you want proof, kind of yeah, proof. Sir. Every so so many people have testified about dying and going to heaven yeah. and then coming back. Yeah, and dying and go to hell. Well, where did I go? Guess then? what? Every one of them says the angels yeah. escorted them to this right. white so place. That's who I was talking like to. That. I tell you that when I died yeah. at the zoo, I was talking to a gold angel, clear as day. There you go. But yeah. I was it was all black around me though. There was mm-hmm. no like I w- wasn't in like some fluffy cloud though. Yeah. Why was it so black? I don't know. That's scary. I don't know. You're saying well, no. I'm just yeah, kidding. we don't know. We don't know no, what the we don't know what the that. circumstances of that are. But notice that even yeah. in darkness, you were with. I was with a gold angel. Right. I, I mean, it was p- the most beautiful. So thing I walked I've through ever the seen. valley of the shadow of death. But you could have still no you evil, could have perceived still you. the ar- the area as black. It black. necessarily oh wasn't. Right. Listen to what Chris just listen to what Chris just said. Yeah. Say that again. I said, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow <laughs> of death, I fear no evil, for you are yeah. with me. Yeah. In other words, you can walk in darkness all day long, but notice who was with you. See, sometimes I fear that I was going to hell there. 
If you were already saved, you had already committed Christ, then you weren't. Now, no. here's here's the thing. It was two weeks before. May, maybe no, you, after I died. I know, that's what I'm saying. You, you were saved two oh, weeks I before. Oh, I see, yeah. Maybe at that point you hadn't truly accepted Christ. I don't know. I don't no, know I definitely did. did. Okay, then don't then forget it. It's just, yeah, it's just what you saw. I don't, I don't think saw. it was anything special. Yeah, I don't think it was anything special. Yeah. The, dar- but, the darkness around you, I don't think that was yeah. like the demons trying to pull you in. I think it was just the scenario. Because you yeah, were like maybe in the so. middle yeah. I think so. of this, like yeah. moving into another the realm. And God was like, you just talk to this guy right. and then send him back, Johnny yeah. or whoever. Right, not Johnny. but So um, Micah. I, the story about that, that that's pretty good. So my, my uncle who just passed away just a couple of months ago, mm. my aunt, his wife, um, was with another relative as they were passing away. It was my my was it my grandfather, my grandmother's husband? He, she married again. He was dying. This aunt, um, who's a preacher's kid, you know, grew up in the church, all that. Uh, everybody had gone to get lunch. He had been out of it for a couple of days. She's left there by herself, and she's sitting in the room, and he starts having the death rattle. You know, people mm-hmm. start breathing a certain way, and you realize, and he's struggling. He's not awake. He's, he's, he's been unconscious, and he's struggling and struggling and struggling, and she just kind of leaned over him and prayed for him and said, Johnny, if you need to go, it's okay. You know, just kind of, because sometimes that's what people need to hear. Yeah. She said, I sat down and she said, something began to push me into my chair. She said, I could feel it weight down, like like the room had pressurized. And she said, it was so, it was so heavy. It was pushing me down and he was death rattling. And then all of a sudden he took a clear breath. And as he let it out, she said, everything in the room left. She said, like, amazing. There was no pressure. Like I I felt it come in and I felt it go and he was gone. And she said, hey, so, I felt the spirit come in and and take him by the hand and exit him out of the room. And I'm like, wow. I goosebumps. Oh my look, gosh. my mom has been. Bro, look at my has, arm. Has, yeah, I know. You think I'm kidding right now? Look <laughs> at my arm. Yeah, he's look got at my arms, too. Yeah. Look, my mom, Chris, my arm, my mom has, has dealt with uh, over 300 uh, peop, old people. Mm. Passing All right. Away. Geriatric people. Yeah. Who are in their last moments yeah. of, of life. Mm-hmm. Weeks and months and years. Yeah. And she's yeah. had them in their home. Yeah. And over th- all of them, except for like three, died, hmm. which is good, right? Yeah, right. And you know how many times I've heard that story? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you need to go, yeah. go ahead. That's right. And guess what? They take their last breath yep. moments later. How many times have mm-hmm. my mom said that one, one of the ladies or one of the men have said, I, I saw my, grandfa- uh, my grandson or my, gran- yeah. my grandfather or my mom. Yeah. You know, two or three days before they died. Yeah, like yeah. it happened in over 300 place. times and my mom experienced yeah. them all. Yeah. And it's just, it's just backs everything yeah. up. And you're saying that's, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. My gra- it happened to my grandma. Yeah. My mom literally said that because she like died mm-hmm. and my mom called. She said, no, come back. Jesus, bring her back. And she <laughs> woke up again. Yeah. Didn't really talk. She just was like, I yeah. saw it. And I'm and getting then, a, Can we put that on my tattoo list, Brian? <laughs> I know that this is going to come. We got to wait till we're in the New Testament because right. I'm going in order for, for a certain extent. Can we get that, that Jesus talking about Abraham's bosom with the mm-hmm. angel taking him up? Yeah, bro, it's right that there. It's definitely like it's a, going on my arm for sure. It's a twenty-two, yeah. nineteen, Luke uh, sixteen, twenty-two. Yeah, Luke sixteen, twenty-two. And that, well, that let's, let's what finish this, this paragraph so we can oh, you yeah. can finally get, oh, get the whole. Have we picture. not finished? No, we no we finished. We finished. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. You fi- you you Luke read the last pa- past paragraph? No, no, no. All I read was and besides this, oh, there's a gulf the, between. Not this. The other passage. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. We're not in jail. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Back well, to Because we're kind of middle, <laughs> middle of the story. So okay, remember, there's yeah. a gulf between. Yeah, that's so right. the last 27, he says, then he said, I beg you there. This is the guy in hell, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the rich man. Father, that you would send him to my father's house. Mm-hmm. Send Lazarus. He's still trying to control Lazarus. That's yeah. crazy. For I have five brothers that he may testify to them, lest they also come to this place of torment. Mm-hmm. Abraham said to, to, to uh, Lazarus, uh, the rich man, right? Mm-hmm. They have Moses and the prophets, meaning the, the scripture. Right. They have the scriptures. Well, well, let well, them wait, wait, hear wait. them. They know the scriptures. But they know the scriptures. They have Moses them. and the prophets. Yeah. That's what, they, that's what was commonly called the Torah, yeah. Moses, and the, the books prophets, of Moses. Right. Wait, hold on. I'm confused. we got to back up. Okay. This is why not reading in order okay. confuses yeah, right. me. So Jesus is saying, what about Moses? No, the 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 rich man who is in hell okay. is speaking, and he says, "Can you send Lazarus to my to my brothers, my father's house, mm-hmm. and tell them about this?" And he says, "They have what they need. They have Moses and the prophets, but they don't believe it. They're not they're right. not living it." So, so they're, they're saying they have that, the Bible. So they have yeah. all they need, but they're not 
they haven't received it. Tell them. I think he says tell them to read it. Okay. It? Okay. okay. Now let, let yeah, he says. He says yeah. Keep yeah. going, Brian. Keep going. Sorry. Abraham says Abraham is talking here. Jesus, remember Jesus just has witnessed this whole thing. He's, Wait, he's Abraham is talking in in Abraham's bosom. Yeah, they're in Abraham's bosom. Bosom. Abraham is talking to the le- to the rich man across the giant valley, the the chasm. He's talking to but him I way thought far that Jesus off. Jesus was just talking. Wait a minute. No, Jesus isn't talking at any of this. Jesus, Jesus is, is telling the story. Telling the story of what has happened already. Okay. So what's here? So this is Jesus talking. About but he's telling happened. the story of okay. what's actually happening. All right, okay, in okay, Abraham's sorry. Bosom. Abraham, okay, Abraham is in Abraham's bosom. Okay, go correct. Ahead. Along with the, the the rich man yeah. who died right. and Lazarus, who's mm-hmm. Lazarus, who's in the, Abraham's bosom. Okay. So Abraham says to the rich man mm-hmm. in a way off in the torment area, they have Moses and the prophets. Verse twenty nine. Mm-hmm. Let them hear them. Let them let them read them. Read the books. Mm-hmm. And then verse thirty, he said, "No, Father Abraham." But if one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. Mm-hmm. But, but he said to him, Abraham says to, to the rich man, if they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded through one, even though one rises from the dead. That's what Chris so said. All, rise from the dead. That's like all he's Chris saying said. here is he's just saying, Abraham is saying, look, just be, they have Moses. Wow, they have the crazy. books of Moses. They have the books of the prophets. Mm-hmm. They have everything they need to believe, mm-hmm. right? This is wild. Yeah. So he says it doesn't matter. If they don't believe Moses and the prophets, they won't believe anything, even if someone rose from the dead. And remember, that's Jesus telling the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and so he's, yeah. even if I rose, from, and he hasn't died yet or risen from the grave. So, but right. yeah, you're right. Because he's saying, hey, almost like too, by the way, like, hey, yeah. I'm about to die. These guys only have a little bit more yeah. time. And for pre-Jesus, yeah. Abraham's bosom, right? Because yeah. once yeah. Jesus dies and risen, then it's just direct line to heaven, and you've got to believe in Jesus. Right. Uh, interesting enough, this is like Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> no, listen, listen to this right here. Yeah, so you're telling me, yeah. you're te- am I there? Yeah, it's you're, yeah, you're, 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 you're telling me that Jesus is telling somebody on earth about a story about Abraham yeah. in Abraham's bosom, yes. yeah. about yeah. a guy yeah. trying to talk to Abraham, yes. about connecting him with people on earth to get his brothers saved. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And he's out. Oh, I can't wait. Chris, he's going to blow up on all the stuff we're going to read. I know. It's all coming up, man. It's, it's so amazing. Look, that's why I'm so excited about this. I love it. <laughs> Look, this yeah, is what. Look, is, verse nineteen is why I, like, I love it, John. This is wait, the, this is wait. the greatest thing. This is the greatest conversation I've ever yeah. had in my whole look, life. Just wait, John. It's going to get so, when we read the first four books in the New Testament yeah. the Gospels. It's yeah. going to be amazing. Your life is going to blow yeah. up. But you can great. see how I have trouble following this because it's not yeah, going. This in one's order. a little. Yeah, this one's a little. Yeah, crazy it's not, too. yeah but we don't. Re- so here's the thing. It's even though it's not in order. Like, this is a story that Jesus knows about. He probably witnessed this. Yeah. He was standing yeah. probably next to Abraham saying, don't worry, boys, I'm coming. Yeah. I'm yeah. coming. Yeah. I'm coming soon. Oh, can you imagine? Yeah. I'm coming wow. soon. So, you yeah. know, it's cool because I love Job, too. In the first chapter of Job, and second, we get an insight of um, the heavenly court. And, of course, mm-hmm. we do in Revelations, too. Mm-hmm. And I just love that. Oh, yeah. You know, but we also, by Jesus Christ mm-hmm. himself, yeah. We get a an insight yeah. of Abra- a story yeah. of inside of Abraham's bosom yeah. yep. about actual Abraham. Yeah. Yep. Hey, yeah. think like, about this, yes. John. How, how crazy is that? And this goes to show you that all of those people who loved Yahweh. No, I know. Yeah. I know. It's great, man. He loves them, bro. Look, we get a story in Job about Satan trying to tell God, ha ha, you're a man, nothing. And now man. we get a story of Jesus yeah. and wow. his real man. Does, does Jesus mention, like, uh, Moses or uh, Noah or anybody, like Ruth or anybody in there? It's coming up. He's going to make reference to that. Oh, yeah. my God. Don't tell me. I can't deal with this anymore. I got to get off air. I'm crying. <laughs> I got goosebumps. This is way too emotional. Uh, but here's why I believe it's a uh, last moment. Here's why I believe it's it's a real story because verse yeah. 19 he says yeah. there was a certain man, yeah. a certain rich man. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, who was clothed? He has specific names. Mm-hmm. It's not generalized. Yeah. It's That's a right. events, it's real names and real situations and bam. Yeah. You know, and all this stuff yeah. makes sense. And yeah. so it's just amazing. God yeah, is the way he so tells good. The story. He laid it all out for us. Mhm. 
Yeah. And all we have wow. to do is one thing. And I didn't think that Jesus right told there. a story about. I didn't think yeah. we got an inside peek of Abraham's yeah. bosom. Sorry. And right I mean, there, we get we it, see look, it. in a few yeah. minutes, you get to you get to, Jesus not here, but later on, John, Jesus talks to people who have, are already in heaven. Yeah. And he shows up on a mountain, and he he brings right. his disciples and says, "Check this out. We're going to talk to certain people." I'm not going to yeah, give it away. Say, can't tell who it is. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. You're going to love it. <laughs> this is wild. Yeah, you're going to love that. Uh, but is, yeah. but you know, coming back to that, to even to this story and to the one we just read, with notice how specific Jesus is about what happens here. There is a real hell. It mm-hmm. is a permanent divide. Right. It's a permanent divide. This, yeah, this and is, even yeah. if you want to reach across it, you can't. It's, it's, so he, Once he's you're start, there, you're there. Yeah, I mean, this, this is Jesus' is, word. This is 25 to yeah. life. This is red letter, right? Oh, Jesus God, is not yeah. going to lie to us about this yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is red letter. There yeah. is real hell, and, and, there, there, and, and, so, mm-hmm. and you are separated. But knowing, looking at that and seeing Jesus' own words, so, attesting yeah. to it, and, and how emotionally you got and how emotional we get about this, and how terrible it is for that guy who's begging, man, even if I can't be God, saved, man. could you please I'm never sinning again. go to my house could you tell them? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why this has just hit me big time now, yeah. but like I'm never going to sin again. Well, it's not even but, about that. It's it's about are we as I broken? I want to go help a homeless guy right are now. Are we as broken on this side of heaven and hell yeah. about people going to hell as that guy was? Yeah. No, look, it's, I understand it's, that the good works don't get you in, but guess no. what? I'm going to go knock doors. Go it's do the way, I'm going right? to go pick up trash. I'm going to go to the homeless shelter right now. Like It's yeah, time yeah. to go. Because look, this, Reinhard Bunke, he was a great yeah. man of God. Yeah. He said one thing. He said, our goal is to... Empty hell yeah, right. and fill heaven. Yeah, because even man. this guy, the no, selfish crazy. rich man who mm-hmm. had everything in his life, he is even looking out for other people. Yeah, because yeah, it's you're so right. bad. Yeah, because guess what? All of his riches don't mean anything. Crazy. Where he is, he has nothing. He's like, could I just have a drip of water from that beggar's hand? Which was, you know, the worst thing you get. He has nothing because just what we read in Job just now. All that stuff mm-hmm. you're holding on to. Is yo is 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 what is kindling for hell? This is too much for me right now. I can't <laughs> take any more of this conversation. I got. I, I have to great. process this. <laughs> it's a lot. Hey, man. look, I'm not struggling with it. Good. I'm just saying process oh, no. in a way of like I just want this to like yeah. marinate in my soul. It's yeah. really emotional. I'm very emotional right now. Yeah. Just knowing that all these guys that we love so much throughout this journey yeah. up to now, mm-hmm. Job. Mm-hmm. Just knowing that, like, when they died, they got carried up to Abraham's bosom by an angel. They were, they were escorted. You know, and now Jesus is here his telling a story about Abraham's yep. bosom. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's, it's, God is so good, it's crazy. Elijah. He cares. Yeah. He cares, cares fire for, comes and gets him. Yeah. Yeah, that's why Moses was like, oh, I don't get to cross the Jordan, fine. Angels will tend. <laughs> he cares. Look, God, God cares for every yeah. person. That's right. Yeah. Personal. Saved or unsaved, man. He cares for every person. And I'm so glad there was something in me that when I was having this de- this this pleasant debate with this person, yeah. who I will say was a denomination. Yeah. In my opinion, they probably weren't in the word a lot. Mm. They were just like, "What do you? Why do you keep saying this? Why do you keep saying this? Mm-hmm. What Abraham's bosom? What are you talking about? What are you mm-hmm. talking about?" I'm like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, but, I kind of went on a stretch because I don't actually, I've never seen the word Abraham's bosom in the Bible. It's something mm-hmm. I should have looked into. But when I walked away from that conversation, I thought to myself, I need to call Chris and Brian. Yeah, you know, I got to figure that out. But I mean, holy smokes, red letter. Yeah. This is not just some quick little small Abraham's bosom. Jesus attests to it. I mean, this is red letter stuff right here. Yeah. He told not, the not real story. The red there. letter is Look, any that's better why than Jesus the black was letter. But. Very adamant yeah. about calling out the religious leaders because look, he just wants you. He doesn't want some work, some ritualistic, right. you know, you got to do this, controlled by mm-hmm. uh, some guy. He wants you to love him yeah. because in turn, do a he loves that. you. No, it's, it. it's personal. Then, yeah. We should open a church, Chris. I keep telling you, I could be right in front <laughs> of you. I've preached through Joe before. We've, I mean, I've done this, yeah. like I said, we could do it. We could open a church. <laughs> Well, I, I would I've got a community group to tend to right now. I mean, I'm doing that. So. Bring him to our church. Come on with me. <laughs> I will. I'm come just saying. Me. I'll yeah. come tomorrow, but I'm just come saying. I just yeah. really think Let's, that... You should, hey, you should just, just uh, go out there to that place where we walked, right? Yeah. That little... Uh, just go right there and start talking about Jesus out loud. See what happens. Yeah. I got to run. I got to get to the family oh, here. Yeah. yeah, that's right. But yeah. this greatest this Bible been, study we've ever done here. Yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah, Mark seven twelve. 
Luke chapter no, 16, Luke verse 16. 22. Yeah, I'm getting that on my Luke neck. 16, I'm getting a neck tattoo. That's going on my neck. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm serious. Actually, my, Jess said actually she approved a neck tattoo, by the way. <laughs> okay, all right. So we'll see. But hey, wait, like Once you go there, that's a commitment. No, it's commitment yeah. there, yeah. But, that's uh, a commitment. Did, you, did we write that down, Brian, on my tattoo list? <laughs> I can. Let me do it. Yeah, do it. Because I, please. Just pulling it up. Because i got to uh, get Ruth here soon. I always wonder how many windows this is it. Brian has open. <laughs> Look at it. These are my tattoos right here. <laughs> These are this. all the ones we've written down. Oh, my gosh. You don't Let's have enough for the, You're going to have to gain weight, spot. man. <laughs> <laughs> These are great. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. All right. I'm, I'm here. That's, that's only up to Esther, man. You've got <laughs> i got a lot more to go, baby. You may have to call through no, some of these. I, it, it'll probably get on like, the chest and leg and I'm, I mean I'm going to be I'm going all in on See, this and you've got to remember all these too because if somebody oh, asks hey, what's that mean I got to be quick with it you know what I mean like now is easy you know what I mean <laughs> there there I put it in there there, there it is Luke 1622 nice. <laughs> you got to hey that's our that's your first New Testament reference look at yeah, that actually we, can, sure we, can we make a New Testament uh, column this is right arm, and that's left arm. Right. <laughs> Let me rework it. But that's how the Jewish Bible reads, too. It's right arm, left arm. It reads that's from right to left. Kind of kind of mm-hmm. cool, actually. So if anybody questions me right that, Wow, that's like right arm, left arm, <laughs> right foot, left foot. Yeah. That's Father, Father Abraham. Turn around, yeah. Had many sons. It's a, it's a Christian song. It's All right, a there you PBS go. song, yeah. And, and I guess I'm just kind of waiting to hear where it says that Abraham's bosom is closed, but I digress. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> you know what? Don't need oh, it anymore. God. Don't need it. All right. All <laughs> we got right. something better. That's, we got to go. That'll be – all right. Who's praying it out? Brian, what are you doing? Well, why, are you, why are you doing that? <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah. Oh, and that's, that's Luke chapter 17, and Jesus closed Abraham's bosom. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. You're like, it's officially closed now. I heard that, John. Hilarious. I'm just saying. I love it. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, we're not going to go down this path. But even even with Pastor Brett sm- sm- smacking me down on this, well, on I uh, I still well, have, okay. Either I, way, I still right? have if, a if sliver it's or, or where it is now. Play, praise God for A- Abraham's bosom. The thing is, right? Jesus is in heaven, wouldn't we say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's not going to leave his people in hell, right? You know what I mean? Right. This, remember, this is in hell. Wait, whoa, whoa! This but I Hades. thought you just got done saying once you're in hell, you're always in hell. Well, there's a great chasm where these people were. Remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you saying that – okay, let's just say this. Mm-hmm. That if 99.9% of everybody that's told me this is right and I'm the only one that's wrong, that if a Jewish man or woman gets – dies today, uh huh, they go to hell, right? Yep. Which is tough to say and – I don't necessarily believe that, and and you guys have even told me that you're even a little hesitant of saying that. But let's just say that's the case. Yeah. You're telling me that once Pookie, my Jewish friend, goes to hell, he actually has a way to get out because he's Jewish? Nope. No. That's not what, it, that's not yeah. what the scripture yeah. says. Yeah. Right and, here. and we weren't uncomfortable about saying that that's the truth. We were uncomfortable about what it means. Yeah, if a Jewish person today dies without Jesus, they go to hell. 100%. Yeah, because look, John, they were all in hell. But I just thought you got done saying that that there's a way out for them. No, there's no, no. way out. Those Wait, who are in Abraham's on. bosom are headed to heaven already. Let me let me paint the picture. Well, I know so that already. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. yeah. That's what, that's what he's so the, so Abraham's bosom was in the the center of the earth, next to the torment area of hell. Okay. It was in hell, but no one is tormented where that place was. So when Jesus went down there, hmm. he took the, the, the people in Abraham's bosom, and he rescued them, and they okay. all got born again. Okay, okay, okay. So what are you saying? I'm saying that the people who are in the torment part, the Bible says right here in 24, 25, there was no place for escape for them. Because they were not, they never had access to Abraham's bosom. They did not believe in Yahweh, and they didn't believe in okay, the Savior so you, to come. The prophecy of Genesis. So are you chapter telling three. me that a Jewish person today then goes to the that 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 like goes to hell, but there's they go to the, like the better one, like the above one that's not so bad. Tell me. No, that. I'm saying. I think I'm I see saying. What you're saying. Yeah. So uh, let that's, me what offer, that's what you just okay, said. I, th- I see. The, I see what you're. I think you're both saying the same thing. When we use the term hell, for instance. We, we are thinking of an eternal place that is eternal, okay? But when there, there's, <laughs> there's not different levels of hell, but this is the way we speak about it. So there is at the end of all judgment where 
they will be cast in the lake of fire, and that's a hell that is separate total, right? But Abraham's bosom is for those, it's similar to what the Catholics believe about purgatory. Right. Abraham's bosom is... Well, that, in other that, words, everybody is the headed person for, that I was kind of in a debate with was Catholic, and she yeah, kept saying right, purgatory. Right. And that's different. That's a different thing because that still exists today. They believe it. But exists why didn't today she Christians. know about Abraham's bosom with Luke? Because they would have equated to purgatory and said it's the same thing, but it's not. But Abraham's bosom would be think of it like a, a holding and waiting for the Messiah. Yeah, no. But you are not in heaven. Right. No, I know yeah, that yeah, before yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. But you're not in heaven. Right. You're. You would be waiting. In what essentially would be separation from God, hell. Right. Okay. But it's not the eternal hell. Right. Where where people who have rejected God are gone. But I'm, They're so, but I'm gone. talking about this middle time we live. Yeah, yeah. So are you telling me though mm-hmm. that even though there's there's different layers of hell, it well, seems no, like not really layers. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe Abraham's bosom really isn't. It's hard to explain. Remember, so but are you conf- are you confident hell, that it's closed then? right now? Yes. There's several different okay. places. Yes. There's several. Di- there's not just hell. Right. Hell is the the name of the area, right. and there's different pla- uh, places in hell. Right now, there's middle Hades, time. Yeah, there's right? Hades, middle, middle there's time. There's Sheol. Okay, right. okay. So then, are you telling me there's a chance? Just give me this. Then tell me yeah. this. Are you yeah. telling me there's a chance in this middle time that we right. live? Yeah, yeah. I know what you're going. On. That that if a Jewish person dies and they love Yahweh, they mm-hmm. they go to hell, but they go to a place that's probably not as bad. Mm-hmm. Nope. nope. You just said there was layers. No, no, no. That doesn't no, mean that they're no. going. No, I'm, that doesn't mean that they're <laughs> That's going. That's a bad there. way to. It, layers is a hard. It, this is a tough thing to explain. So, Abraham's well, bosom is not people on the way to hell. It's people waiting to go to heaven. Yeah. Why? No, let's I just know, say yeah, why did they go to heaven? Why? Why did the people not go to heaven, John? Right. And why did they go to Abraham's bosom? Because they were. No, I'm they talking were, about you no. guys keep you guys keep going pre Jesus. I'm talking about right now, right now in the no. middle time. There is yeah, no but hold on though. You have to understand the reasoning. And here's the reasoning. People went to Abraham's bosom for one reason. Mm-hmm. They were they they believed in Jesus they believed in God. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. They were righteous by faith. Right. Mm-hmm. They just couldn't be in the presence of Almighty God in heaven yet right. Right. because they did not have Jesus righteousness right they weren't bro- right. born again so when jesus that. came back and he went in the he went into abraham hell he he went into abraham's bosom cleared and pulled them all out cleared it out right right took, took them all at paradise and everything went with him king david was shot up doesn't need yep. so there's no need for it anymore they all got born again there's mm-hmm. no need for it and so right. guess what now when we accept jesus as lord we bypass all that need mm-hmm. for it because right. we're born again right. us and god we can hang out yeah. I understand what you're saying, yeah. and you guys are yeah. totally right. I, I'm with you 110%. Yeah. I'm just saying mm-hmm. God, I hope so. that the Jew today, Yes. I'm just saying that there's a possibility in my heart yeah. mm-hmm. I, I get what that you're saying. somehow yeah. they get to go there still because they're yeah. God's people. And a Gentile that right. dies, that's not, that's easy. That's easy. Yeah, yeah. But that, that's all I'm saying. I look at someone so, like the Holocaust, okay. right? I look at someone like right. the Holocaust, right? right. You, you, gosh, they, I pray they went to Abraham's bosom, even right. middle time, even yeah. middle time. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so, and, well, well, and you can look say. at me and be like, geez, John, what about a Gentile? No, but yeah. if you don't believe in Yahweh and you're, and you're, and you're just a Gentile, yeah. no, you've made your bed. You've yeah. made your bed. You're, you've made your free will, yeah. And, yeah. and then you're going down south. I get what you're saying. But you're with saying. God's chosen people... Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I, so here's, here's, here's I don't what mean I would to get say. emotional. Here's I'm what not, I say I'm to that. Not, yeah. it's okay. it's I, I an emotional wish thing. It is. And, and I wish that were the case. Uh, but what Scripture tells us is it's not. Um, okay. But here's what I would say to you. Okay. I think you're very. I admire your emotion on it because I think your heart is in the right place. But we have to we have to accept the truth, the very hard, very hard truth. Mm-hmm. That it is not real. Otherwise, we hold on to a shred of hope that these people will be saved outside of Jesus, and it's not real. And we might then, for our own comfort, allow right. them to go to hell without I, us no, saying and that. And that's something I told Brian. I said, yeah. oh, you make a great point, yeah. Chris. You make a great point because yeah. that's not going to stop me from preaching right. Jesus right. to everybody in the world, include, right. including the Jews. Right. To every all time the I talk so, to Pookie, I'm, I'm speaking Jesus because right. I want everyone right. to bow, right? Yeah. But I don't know if I'm 100%. Mm-hmm. I think I think I'm. This still is in my heart with yeah. this possibility. I'm okay. just going to say that. And, and when we get to the New Testament, it'll bear out what we're talking about. You'll see it more clearly. But but here's what I would say: better to accept the pain and eliminate the possibility 
and go for those people without any doubt in your heart. Because no, I think it I drives us more when we get, when no. we see Lazarus and the rich Point man to Jesus. and we realize there is no hope, yeah. not no. one shred. Point to Jesus. It, it drives us all the more. It's almost like I don't want a Jewish person to hear me say this. Yeah. Right. Think about it. Like if, so, oh, if there's, if there's Jewish actually people. a Jew, no, but if there's a Jewish person <laughs> yeah. listening right there, I don't yeah. want them to hear this I know. because I know. then they're going to go, no, yeah, John's right. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I want them to, Jesus is yeah. the way because absolutely. that is the truth. That's right. That is the right. truth. The only way to heaven is Jesus. Yeah, that, you know, um, um, and you guys get the complex right. meaning of that, what I absolutely. mean by that with absolutely. the whole middle time here. But sure. I digress. No, no, you're I right. I digress. Well, still the only way to heaven. Even right it is. Even, even, Jesus. even if I was right, <laughs> yeah. they would still have to bow yeah. at that time. Yeah. Not saying I am. Right. I'm just saying if I am. Right, right, right. Yeah. <sighs> Brian, you in there? I'm here. Okay. We, we kind of, hey, y'all, y'all having a good conversation? We'll shut I, you I, down. I, I shut you out, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's a tough, it's a tough it's one. Tough. Like, yeah. you want to, you want to love, you know, these are God's people. But we do love them. We love them. I mean, look, enough my, to the my heart, look, Dennis Prager is one of my favorite people in the yeah. whole world. Yep. And he loves God. Mm-hmm. But he also says, there's no salvation. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anybody, by, by Jesus, anyone yeah. who believes in doing good things and has a good life will go to heaven. Yeah. Well, that's totally against what the Bible says. That's right. The Talmud says that. Yeah, the Talmud does say uh, that. But so yeah. that's the thing. I love him. Yeah, He's a Jewish just, man who loves Yahweh. He does. He does. I know. So my heart goes out to him. I, I'm just saying, though. There's the word eternal. I could go on, but let's digress. I got to get out of here. <laughs> you get I out mean, of here. I do think there's. I could debate with you on that a yeah, little bit. Yeah. But I, I'm not saying I'm right. Yeah. I'm just saying. I hope I'm right. But I also hope that everyone just bows now. <laughs> so you guys get what I mean. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Let's get yeah. out of here. Yeah, your your heart is so tender for it. it. I love that. It is, and that's good. Heck that's yeah. Good. Let's pray it out. What a, what a Bible study. Wow. Holy smokes. We've been no, on a lot a, of places. That's a Joe Rogan three-hour podcast. We've covered a lot of territory. How did we and go we did, from And Joe we didn't to, smoke weed. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brian, Maybe that's why he smokes weed. <laughs> um, Brian, you want to pray, pray it out? out? Yeah. Well, Lord God in heaven, <laughs> Father, you are amazing. And I just can't wait for more of these conversations about you, about your ways. Lord, we love you. In Jesus' name, we just come to you. Uh, and it's, it, it makes me tears of joy mm. to think about how you just brought us together to talk about you and your son, the Holy Ghost, Abraham's bosom, mm. where are we going? Gosh, Lord, we need, everybody needs to talk more just about this stuff because one day everyone's heart will stop or they'll be raptured or something mm. and that day's going to come for everyone and we want everyone to believe so lead us Lord to our neighbor give us the right words mm. open their heart mm. or to any, someone at HGB Chick-fil-A wherever we're at mm. well not tomorrow it's closed mm. but Lord our heart cries out to, for everyone to be saved around us and give us boldness Mm-hmm. And hope so that we can keep speaking your word and lead others to the Lord. Amen. And we just, Job. Yes, Job. We love, you. we love you. We love you, Job. I know, I know you're up there, and I know mm-hmm. God's going to relay this message, so we're just we're believing that you come out of this thing. In Jesus' name, we love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Tell, the, tell Job we say goodnight <laughs> and uh, that we love him and yeah. that uh, we can't wait to get up there and have a cup of coffee with him. Yeah, yeah, we know we're not praying for him, Lord. He's it's already happening, yeah. but we're just yeah. yeah, he's already there. All right, guys, time tomorrow. machine back yes. in back to oh, here we are, 2022. There we go, we're back. <laughs> <laughs>